uh, before meeting you I used to be I cannot I just can't but after meeting you the attitude is fuck it I can and only I can Bishal Sarkar here in today's video I'm gonna show you a very powerful and effective way to grab control of audiences attention really engage with them from the get-go and to make sure that you organize customize and systemize your presentation for the maximum influence and the maximum impact what that means for you is by the time you finish your presentation people will jump and chase you just to take your decision just to take action on your idea so that help you so check out this video so a common mistake that a lot of professionals make especially when they're giving presentation is they start going into history in fact let's take a specific example let's say that you know you you're you want to offer some kind of a service to a company uh, let's say you know XYZ service right to this company that they need so what most people do at the time is whether they are on a video conference call phone conference or they come face to face in a room when there is you know just the key decision makers maybe five or six people in the room the video conference room or in-person room they start doing something like this well hi good afternoon everybody uh, we were supposed to meet right now we are five minutes late but that's okay uh, just to give you a little bit of idea about who I am uh, my name is Vishal Sarkar and I work in this company I've been working here actually this person sent me thank you for so much for your time and they go on for two minutes like that and then they say okay before we get started a little bit about the history about our company you know we have been in the business for the last you know 75 years and we have a track record of this and here are some of our esteemed clients we have worked with and blah 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 and the reason we are here is to talk about what we do so that you know you can evaluate and, and they go on and on and on right now out of the role play this is what I call write this down suicide this is suicide is a professional suicide is what you're doing because you're giving all the control to the audience right you you're just you you're like it's kind of like you know the the overlaying message here is the implication is you know I'm here to talk just basically I'm here to bore you thank you for your time thank you so much I'm here to bore you so let me talk about my company and bore you even more in the meantime keep checking your emails and messages while I talk about this esteemed clients and logos yeah we can move that yeah yeah keep checking that keep keep checking that yeah here, look at my shirt here you know that's what that the meaning is it's it's totally crap and it's fucking weak do you want to give weak presentations no. Now, inside many of our higher end programs, we I work with executives very one on one direct. It's it's high level, right? There is no cookie cookie cutter approach. I mean, of course, there are formulas and templates. I talk about it. There is like a step by step formula a blueprint. However, I'm going to tell you a way to right now grab control of the audience and their attention. Number two, engage with them from the get go. And number three, make sure that everything you're doing is fully customized for them okay so here is how it works what you do is that instead of going through the company history or the project history or to introduce you instead of doing all that you go into you you share a, what, what's called a big idea you share with people what's at stake and then you ask a question and get the audience to talk this is specifically when you're talking to decision makers. If you're speaking to a large group of audience of 400 people, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you are actually in a boardroom. There's a U-shaped table, people there, two, three people there. Some are interested, some are not. And then you go into the talking mood. Guess what? Their attention is going up or down, much more down. You don't want that. So the question now you have is what do you do? Well, you share a big idea that grabs and arrests their attention and interest number two then you basically you know go on and engage with them with a question instead of going into your customer profile right about your company right so let me give an example let's say let's take an example let's say that I which I you know I work with very high level companies when I do consulting but let's say I was working with a startup which I don't do and imagine I was working with a you know I get like I don't know 150 emails a day from different social media agencies trying to pitch their products to us and we have an internal team who does that and 
we are good so if you're a social media marketing company please don't reach out to us uh, we do not need your service I'll block your email now <laughs> if I was um, starting out in my career and imagine I was we did something like you know Vayner Media does like high level social media like $150,000 um, project just for social media we're not talking about one lakh two lakhs like 150,000 US dollars that level of project or, or like a very high level digital um, you know optimization and branding kind of thing if I was doing I would enter a room I'm getting some messages on my phone I would enter my room uh, enter the room and I would say okay guys we are supposed to meet at 10 and ima again imagine I'm in front of five six decision makers who have zero idea who I am so they don't know that I'm the author of the book I love public speaking they don't know that I have 13 years of experience in public speaking training they don't know that I am um, not to brag but India's highest paid public speaking expert right now in India they don't know all that imagine I'm a I'm totally unknown face to them I would this is what I call attention status you wanna you wanna really position yourself as a high value expert in the first 7 to 15 seconds okay now of course in different situations different things but I'm gonna give you an example right now so what you do here is you enter the room and you say like four or five people some are still checking the phone I'll say all right guys I appreciate your time we were supposed to meet at 10 it's exactly 10 let's forget everything outside the door let's be here right now let's put our feet in the gear move in the rear and let's go now before we get started here is what I want you to know the world is changing and the world is changing rapidly the reason we are in this room right now is I'm not here to talk about our services and products and all that we can do all that but listen I'm here to be, I'm here because of one thing I know coca-cola I know your profiles I have studied all that what exactly you guys do I know my question for you is what prompted you to this meeting and that's a rhetorical question I want you to think about it just a second hold your answer in your mind as I speak um, but before I move forward I also I could just go on right now and talk about our company and what we do look we have been in the business for the last 15 years you can do all the due diligence later on and we can talk about all the mumbo jumbo and all that I could do all that but before we go into the company history and the mumbo jumbo and all the clients we have done um, I would like to get an idea from you what prompted you to this meeting today for example uh, we do social media right we do social media at a very high level and what we do is basically take your company from where it is which is already great level to a world-class market leadership position so my question to you is what are you guys currently doing to brand your company as the go-to expert what are you doing right now John okay okay so what I understand is you know the higher-ups are doing it you have no idea okay who in this room actually has some idea about what we are talking about here you go ahead Neha mm-hmm okay got it so what you're saying is you know the companies are doing it but what you feel in this company there's more people in this region need to know about not just the product but from the branding perspective and the influencers here right now of course that's something we do but before I move forward I want to tell you a quick story about one of the clients we work with an XYZ individual and before working with us they, they were already doing this revenue their market share was XYZ and they were already happy I mean probably you guys are very happy doing what you do you guys are big shots and you guys know what you're talking about just like I know what I'm talking about in my field uh, however the reason he came to us and the reason we gelled up and we started working together is because of one thing he understood that the world was changing and if you don't cope up with the new world you're basically a dinosaur from the old world how many of you are relating to what you what I'm talking about here so far okay good now I have your attention right now out of the speech role play can you can you see what I'm doing here this is called so I have not spoken about my company history I have not spoken about our extreme clients and the logos there I spoke about this is the language pattern I can talk about my company history and all the mumbo-jumbo but before we do all that maybe I'd like to know from you what prompted you to come to this meeting today for example what are you guys doing with if you're selling a you know database management system what are you guys doing right now with database management what are you guys doing right now don't say what you require what are you guys doing right now that's and I'm talking about pitch like I said hundred and fifty thousand dollar for project for 90 days that level like you know two three crore rupees is what I'm talking about here that's how you gain control otherwise you have to 
play a dog and pony show, bet and bet and switch. You're you're you know you're you're trying to convince. I want everybody to write this down. A compelling offer is ten times more powerful than a convincing argument. A compelling offer is ten times more powerful than a convincing argument. What I mean by that. When I say offer, I don't mean like an offer, like we have a special offer, like the cheesy thing. No, I'm talking about an offer where I, I offer a service from a place of my expertise. Not because you are better than me, because you have money. Money is a commodity. Master expertise is not. Right? So when I work with high level executive, this is what I do. You know, customize word by word, template by template. And and I'm talking about sometimes when you're pitching to investors. Imagine when you're pitching to investors and you go on and you talk about here's what we're doing and you go on to all this and you're chasing, you're being needy. That's not what you want. Now you can go back and watch that segment over and over again, but that is like something I did off the cuff. And based on specific situation, if you're from IT, if you're from HR, if you're from marketing, if you're if you're a vice president of a company, a CEO, if you're an entrepreneur raising, you know, 10 crore rupees for what you're doing for your cause, we can totally customize that for you. It depends. It, it works first of all on the big idea. And when I say big idea, I don't mean an like a like a complicated idea about changing the world. A big idea is is something about what change is coming in that area you're talking about a big idea right um, and then you go into asking question and then you engage and then you tell a client story and there are different storytelling formulas I talk about spe specifically when you're talking client stories and case studies instead of going too much details you can do that understand that people connect with emotion and they justify with logic people buy on emotion and justify with logic Right, that doesn't mean that people are you know give, gonna give you one hundred and fifty thousand dollars just because they feel emotional. But you have to be emotionally connected with them. Am I am I making sense so far? So facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. So far, see, no matter what, the picture that you have in your mind about how I would pitch myself if I was even pitching, which I don't do. Uh, anymore I coach other people because you know I I mean what I mean is I don't go into a room and pitch when I do that it, it's a whole different scenario I work with some of the biggest businessmen right now showing them how to do modern day irresistible offer pitch but that's a whole different scenario but right now what I want you to do is I want you to think about how can you share a big idea and then engage a question engage people with a question right and then that's how you are getting some eliciting some feedback that you can use later on in the presentation and say toward the end by the way what we're gonna do is this this and this right Neha do you remember you said that that's what you guys require well we're gonna deliver that right now and that's what we have blah 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 and this is what I recommend now, before I move forward this is how you're gonna you can end toward the end the semi end as I call you can say before we end uh, I'm not going to ask you to make a decision right now, but I want to know from you two questions. What do you like about what I've said so far? And why do you think we'd be a perfect fit for each other? How about we start with you, Satish? What makes you think that I should, why do, should I work with you? And why do you think it's a great fit for, for each other? So you're, you're flipping the script. You're actually turning the table. You are, you are playing like a, on a level field. Right? It's, it's not that they are high and you are, you are pitching from here. It's like we are on a level field. We are both evaluating each other. So if you want to be a great presenter, you have to master this. Without this, you are dead in the water. You're just like yesterday's newspaper. Nobody gives a crap. People use you to wipe their ass. You have to master the modern way of presentation. We do that in the world class speaker intensive. I teach very in depth. In the balanced life mastermind the language patterns exactly how you gain attention exactly how you pitch otherwise you can give normal presentations like hi my name is this today i want to talk about this and these are the points you know for that you don't need me you don't need me you can go all these gurus you can see their facebook ads and youtube ads you know the 2000 5000 10000 15000 rupees courses you can go there boring old-fashioned what they're teaching you used to work in 2005 does not work in today's world because the world is changing and the world is changing rapidly would you agree good so remember the way you do that is by taking control gain control absolutely customize 
create engagement from the get-go, create better influence, more impact, that means more money and income for you, which basically means that you can finally take all the great decisions. You can buy the things, you can take the vacation, wins once you can take the vacation you can do all that without worrying anything and you're gonna have total time freedom total money freedom and more than anything else you're gonna know that you are you're gonna wake up in the morning knowing that you have control like I said it's not about the goal it's about the control that's much for you right now Vishal Sarkar here always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection Hi, I'm Dr. Shiv Kumar and the biggest learning for today for me is like uh, the four quadrants of voice modulation like which Bishal explained very clearly and he's a man with uh, who gives very practical solutions for your problems like and about your facial expressions during your presentation, your body language and all those kind of stuff and uh, I feel really pumped up for today's session and uh, I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group because he's a person who really builds confidence in each one of you and I am a, a real-time example for it like when you attend a session like everything is gone and you, you're totally pumped up to face the future and I recommend all of you to be part of this mastermind group and get benefited become a confident person confident speaker and have a purposeful life thank you oh, hey Bishal hi this is Ryan and I just wanted to tell you how amazing I feel after going through the fearless communicator challenge of last week. It's been an awesome, awesome experience. And no matter what the task was that I had set for myself, be it you know overcoming the fear of doing a cold sales call, be it the fear of you know like of lifting heavier than normal at the gym, or doing the diabetes test, or going out to hospitals on sales calls. I do agree. I felt nervous at the start of every task but after sticking to the task and and completing each task to the best of my ability I now feel like I've been completely set free I feel like a whole new person I feel like I'm virtually like you know like reborn absolutely no exaggeration I feel that I can now finally be the man that I've always wanted to be and fulfill my potential. Thank you, Bishal, for this wonderful opportunity. I can't thank you enough. Hey, Bishal, Abhishek here, signing from Bombay. Uh, this is, you know, a small video which I'm making for your birthday. So, you know, as you always say, speak from heart. I've been thinking, you know, what makes you Mr. Bishal Sarkar? And what I found is that the principal mark of a genius is not perfection but originality and I guess that's what makes you Mr. Bishal Sarkar. Uh, meeting you has been one of the most you know, tectonic events of my life. Uh, what I was you know uh, initially like I had mentioned this uh, at the Rock the Stage event that you know it's time uh, I upgrade myself to a newer version that, that is Abhishek 2.0 but I had no clue as to how I'm going to do this. So it's you who has uh, shown me the way. Uh, you have made me realize the importance of acceptance, self-love, self-belief, and selflessness. You know, four things which I have always been alien to, <laughs> or maybe, you know, I knew, but then I never had the balls to accept it and uh, move on. Uh, before meeting you, I used to be, I cannot. I just can't but after meeting you the attitude is fuck it I can and only I can to end this I can say that uh, you are not one of the best but you are the best so many many happy returns of the day Vishal I wish you a very very happy birthday keep rocking take care thank you bye bye and again very very happy birthday <laughs>